Watch this video to learn how to play Allegro from the Piano Adventures Primer Level Lesson Book. Today we are in the Piano Adventures Primer Level Lesson Book and we are learning a song called Allegro. Before we begin to look at Allegro, I would like to explain one thing here on my staff paper and that is just to remind you that a skip can move from a line to a line. That might look like this and it might also look like this in the bass clef. So a line to a line is a skip. Line to line, line to line. Now let's take a look at the music and what I'd like to do is look for skips that take place within Allegro. So with the music in front of you, do you see a skip in this song? There's a lot of them to find, actually. Let's look in this very first measure. Do you see a skip in this measure? It's from right here to here. Do you see how that's moving from one line to the next line there? These are the same note. Those are on the same line, so that's not a skip. It's this one right here. And the second measure, it looks exactly like the first measure, so there's another skip right here. I'm gonna have you take out a pencil and go ahead and circle those skips. Let's look in the third measure. Do you see skips here in this third measure? There's actually two skips in this measure. We have a skip from E to middle C right here. Go ahead and circle that. And then we also have a skip from C to A. Go ahead and circle that. Do you see any skips in the fourth measure? No, there are no skips there. That's a step because it moves from a line to a space. Let's take a look at the second line. Do you see a skip in this first measure? There's one right here. How about in the second measure? Right there, go ahead and circle both of those as well. Now looking at the third measure, there are two skips. Do you see them both? One right here and one right here. So this is a song where we have a lot of skips. Before we begin to play it, I would like to talk about some very basic things. First of all, the name of this piece is Allegro. Allegro is a musical term that means fast and lively. So Allegro as a song is meant to be played fast and lively, which you see also written here at the top. Our time signature is 4-4. Four, four. If you'll recall, that means that there will be four beats in every single measure, and this bottom one means that the quarter note will get one beat. Let's look at where our hand position should start. Your right hand thumb is going to be on this note. What is that note? That is E. Go ahead and write an E on that line. And your left hand thumb will be on this note. What is that note? That is C. Go ahead and write a C on that line. So your thumbs are going to be a little bit separate, left on C, right on E. Now let's take a look at the rhythm for this piece before we begin. And what I'd like to do is tap out using the hands that are going to be playing. So in the beginning, you'll notice that this note and that note happen at the same time. So that means when we do it, we're gonna tap them at the same time the right hand will tap again, and the left hand's going to stay down because it has four full beats there. So that looks like this. Ta, ta, ta. Okay, try it with me. We're going to tap the whole first line, and then we'll tap the whole second line. So we'll take a little pause between them, beginning with the first line. One, two, ready, go. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta. Ta, 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 good. Now let's look at the second line of music. One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 
Ta-da! Great. Let's go ahead and get started on the piano. And the very first thing I want to try to do is play this first measure. I'm going to have you begin by making sure that your right hand thumb is on E and your left hand thumb is on C. And we're going to play both thumbs at the same time like this and hold it for four beats. Do it with me. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Good. Now this time, they're both going to go down together. The right hand will come up and go again and then hold for the rest of the four beats. Left hand stays down. So once again, to demonstrate it, they go down together. Only the right hand comes up and goes back down. Let's do that together. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna do that two more times. Do it with me. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Good. Now I'm going to play them both together. My right hand will come up and go back down and then it will go to my third finger because it's a skip. So once again, that looks like this. One, two, three, four. Try it with me. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Let's do it two more times. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Last time. One, two, ready, go. One, Great. If you still want some more practice on that, that's fine. Go ahead and pause the video and take it. So we're going to look at that now. That is this measure right here that we just played. E, E, G. So this measure repeats again right next door and the two measures underneath. So that is half of the song. So you now know how to play half of the song. We're going to sight read the rest of the song going a little bit slower than you'll want to play it typically because it is fast and lively. We're going to get a little faster each time that we play it. So I just wanna call your attention to the fact that there is a forte on the first line and a piano on the second line. So the first line should be loud and the second line should be quiet and we are going to go forward with sight reading this piece. So both hands up on the piano, right hand thumb on E, left hand thumb on C, and I will count to four and then we will begin. One, two, three, four, B, e, B, e, G, play that again. E, G, measure three, E, C, skip down to A, repeat, up to C, step down to B. Now together but quiet. E, E, G, again, E, E, G. Now E, C, skip down to A, repeat it. Up to middle C, step down to B, and back up to middle C. Super. Let's play it again, but this time let's go a little bit faster. One, two, here we go. E, E, G, again. E, G, now E, C, skip down and repeat, skip back up and step down. Good, second line, piano, E, G, repeat, E, G, now E, skip down, skip down again, repeat, skip up, step down, step back up. Great, we're going to play it a little faster for one more time. One, two, ready, go. Repeat that, E, E, G, 
Now E, skip down, skip down again, skip up, step down. Piano. Good, that same measure again. Now skip down, skip down, skip down, repeat, skip up, step down, and step up. And that is allegro. As you're practicing it, you can get it to an even faster place when you are ready. Here's your practice plan for allegro. You are going to play this piece three times a day. The first time you will focus on playing all of the right notes, the second time the correct rhythms, and the third time the correct dynamics. Good luck practicing and mastering this piece.